humans are subjected to some mental disorders such as hyperactivity, depression, dementia and many more. Patients with mental illnesses have to be treated with counseling and medications. When providing medications, the amount of medicine doses are decided by the doctors by observing and understanding the patients. However, some instances come across where medical officers are unable to reach the patients on time. Therefore, deploying a brain machine interaction system that predicts a person's mental condition is essential at this point. Developing a brain machine interaction using EEG based brain signal processing. The brain signals can be captured in two methods as invasive and non invasive. This study is based on non invasive EEG data classification by using the useful discriminative features and optimization of artificial neural networks. The mental condition of a person can be observed by analyzing the state of attention and emotional sentiment. Let's get the background knowledge of this process. EEG or electroencephalography is the measurement and recording of electrical activity produced by the brain. The neurons in the brain communicate to the brain waves. Here are some of the brain waves with their relevant frequency ranges. The collection of EEG data is carried out through the use of electrodes. Electrodes are placed on the head according to the 1020 International Standard EEG Placement System. The authors of this research have used a headband that covers the position of TP9, AF7, AF8 and TP10. In the analysis of the emotional sentiments, Lohan study had discovered a three-dimensional way of representing human emotion in terms of the categories and the hormone levels. The axis represent hormones and the vertex represent the different emotions. Nevertheless, this study is to classify emotion based on the positive, negative and neutral classes and the mental state is classified focusing the subject is relaxed, concentrative or neutral. The procedure of this research can be represented as in here. Primarily, EEG data is collected and the initial dataset is prepared. Then feature extraction and the feature selections are made under the bio-inspired pre-processing and the final dataset is prepared. Finally, machine learning is used to model the problem and the neural networks are optimized to predict the person's mental state and emotion. Brainwave data is non-linear and non-stationary in nature and single values cannot be used to indicate the classes. This arouses the necessity of the statistical attributes and is fulfilled by using a windowing method. The statistical features used in the research are mean, standard deviation, skewness, kurtosis, maximum values, minimum values, derivatives, covariance matrix, Shannon entropy, and the log energy entropy. This study compares the two artificial neural networks, multilayer perceptron and long short term memory. MLP or multilayer perceptron is considered as the universal function approximator and a classifier. It computes a number of inputs through a series of layers of neurons and finally output the prediction of the classes. Learning is performed by following the process of back propagation. LSTM or long short term memory is a multiple recurrent neural network which prediction is made based on the previous state. For the optimization of these models, evolutionary algorithm and adaptive boosting algorithms are used. Here are some of the classification results of the MLP model. For mental state classification, 79.8061 percentage of accuracy has been obtained. And for the emotional state classification, 96.1069 percentage of accuracy has been obtained. The authors could not apply some algorithms for the LSTM topology because of the necessity of the high computational power. Finally, they have received a result as represented in here. As a conclusion of this research, LSTM performed better than MLPM and found that the MLP uses very little time compared to LSTM. This research leads to a better path for future researchers as well. Once these researchers could deploy in real time, this can be used to give solutions for many problems. Thank you.